Welcome to Rejig Festival's Autumn Lights Session. My name is Elizabeth MacDonald, and I'm one of the volunteer organizers of this small but mighty festival. I'm delighted to be your host this evening. This last year and a half has made us dizzy from pivoting, but one good thing that came out of the pandemic was this concert. We're so happy to be able to join together with you, our old friends here in Nova Scotia, New Brunswick and Prince Rhode Island, and our new far-flung friends tuning in from across Canada, the US, and quite literally, all over the world. Thank you for inviting us into your homes and into your headphones. Be sure to let us know you're watching by leaving a comment, a like, even a heart, or a smiley face. And we encourage you to invite your friends to watch with you. More is always the merrier. This year, like last year, we asked more than a dozen of our festival friends and artists to send us a recording of their current favorite set, dance or song. And from the videos we collected, it looks as if the state of the arts is thriving. We at Rejigged are grateful for the support of our funding partners and sponsors, Canadian Heritage, the Government of Ireland through its Immigrant Support Program, Halifax Regional Municipality, on Cumann, the Irish Association of Nova Scotia, Propeller Brewing Company, Polymer Shapes, CBCL, Gillis & Company Timber Frames, and Accountant Staffing. We specifically want to thank the Charitable Irish Society of Halifax for sponsoring the Autumn Light Session and all our 2021 concerts. The CIS has been one of our longest and most steadfast supporters, and we are so grateful for their sponsorship because it makes all the magic possible. We'd also like to acknowledge that even though our festival is online this year, our broadcast location is in Mi'kma'ki, the ancestral and unceded territory of our First Nations people, the Mi'kmaq. And we'd like to remind you that Rejigged Festival is dedicated to providing space that is accessible, inclusive, and free from oppression, harassment, and discrimination. Our concert tonight will have us crisscrossing the Atlantic, but as you may have guessed, we'll mostly be skipping between the Celtic nations of Ireland, Scotland, and New Scotland. We'll start in Scotland with the young and supremely talented fiddler, Ryan Young. Then we'll hop over to Wales to hear the West African balafon of Infamidi Quayate. Hello, my name is Ryan Young and I'm delighted to be taking part in Rejigged Online. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Caroline and all of the committee for having me. And um, a special thank you to Caroline too because she's allowing me to use an old video. Um, I'm waiting on an operation on my hand and my shoulder and things so I'm not able to play very much at the moment. Um, but the tunes I'm going to play, they're very old Scottish tunes. The first is called Oh What Pain I Have Endured Since Last Year, which is very appropriate given my hand. Then a tune called Caberfay, and then a tune called To Chase the Goats Off of the Rocks. Um, and I think this video might actually be about four years old now, but I still really like the tunes and hope you do too. And uh, thank you very much again for having me and I hope you enjoy the music.
Hello, my name is Ufamadi Kuyate and I'm originally from Guinea Conakry in West Africa, now living in Cardiff, Wales. My primary instrument is the balaphone, a traditional wooden xylophone that has been played by my family for generations. And the song I will be presenting for you today is called Jarabi, a song about love. It was filmed in the beautiful scenery of North Wales in the Snowdonian mountain. I hope you enjoyed it. Back to Scotland we go to enjoy the ethereal sounds of Ailey Robertson's harp. Next is an old Scots Gaelic song about a lost love by the Cape Breton duo Myra Blood, a collaboration between Bradley Murphy and Shane O'Handley. Hello from an amazingly sunny west coast of Scotland. 
My name is Ailey Robertson. I'm a Clarsec or Celtic Heart player based here on the west coast near Oban and I'm delighted to be playing for you as part of the Reject Festival. So I'm going to play two tunes for you. The first is a traditional O'Carolan tune called Eleanor Plunkett and then the second Hornpipe, President Garfield's. Hope you enjoy them. We are Myra Blood, my name is Bradley Murphy, and this is Shane O'Hanley. And we are singing to you today from Sydney, Nova Scotia. We have the Sydney Harbour just on our left there. We're super excited to play for Rejigged Festival, and we're going to sing you a Gaelic song. It's called Fal Traum Traum Duala. Oh, 
On our world tour, we'll visit Ryan McNeil, originally from Cape Breton, and his wife Kearsney McNeil. So let's join them on their front porch in South Africa as they share some tunes and steps with their friends Simon and Jen Worthman. Then anyone familiar with old style Irish step will know the wonderful Joe McGuigan and his repertoire of the beautiful dances from South Derry. Tonight, Joe will treat us to the double jig which he learned as a boy from his teacher, May Allen. Hello, Rejig Festival. We're coming to you from Benoni, South Africa, in the Southern Hemisphere. A lovely spring day here. We're gonna play some tunes for you. I uh, just wanna introduce everybody. I'm Ryan McNeil. This is Simon Workman, my wife, Kersey, and Simon's wife, Jen. We are going to do an Irish reel, a traditional one. In the middle, I actually wrote a tune. I called it the Rejig for 10 years, and uh, Hope you like it. And then we're gonna end off with a jig. So here we go. Thank you very much. Hope all is well in Nova Scotia.
We'll stay in Ireland for a few minutes so we can listen to the dazzling fiddle music of Liz and Yvonne Kane, two exceptionally well-known sisters who well deserve their reputation. After that, you'll hear Moshe Namini, an award-winning concertina player who's taken Scotland and the world by storm. And then Ireland's beloved Kathy Jordan will sing one of her current favorites. Hi everyone, we're the Kane sisters, I'm Yvonne. And I'm Liz, and we're delighted to be part of this year's Rejigged Online Festival. We're coming live from Letterfrack um, in Connemara on the west coast of Ireland. And we're going to play a couple of reels and jigs. Um, the first two reels, first one I wrote is called Emily's Buzz. Um, uh, Emily's our cousin, and um, she had a buzz in her fiddle. So I uh, <laughs> picked it up and there was no buzz, but this is the tune that came out. So the second one then is one of Yvonne's, and it's called Gentleman Johnny. For the mighty uh, Johnny Connolly, Johnny Ford Feather Connolly from Inverne in Connemara, who passed away a couple of years ago, um, but uh, it's a great tune, Yvonne. I like it. And then <laughs> two jigs, and Liz wrote these two jigs. The first one is called um, Pangerbon. Gorgeous restaurant that we had here in Letterfrack a couple of years ago, a good few years ago now at this stage, I guess. Yeah. And um, called Pangerbon, the White Cat. And then the second tune, second jig is called um, Jig for Jimmy after our grandfather Jimmy Mullen. So I hope you enjoyed the tunes and uh, thank you, Caroline Murphy and the festival for inviting us to play for you. Thanks very much. Hope you enjoy.
Hello everybody, um, my name is Cathy Jordan and I'm coming to you from Ballygawley in County Sligo in the northwest of Ireland and it's very nice to be here on this really nice autumn morning um, up uh, in the hills. You can't see them but behind those trees. So I'm going to sing a song for you called uh, The Tricoloured House which is a child ballad number two uh, also known as the Elfin Night and this is the I suppose the Irish version of it. Were you ever down at the tricolored house? Forever rose from every time. I said you were meet with anybody that's where you tell her she'll be a true love. 
Thank you. See ya. If you haven't already, you'll want to get your All Access Workshop Pass for Rejig 2021. This year, our program is a mixture of pre-recorded and live Zoom workshops and artist chats. All workshops will be recorded, so with your pass, you can view and review every one of them until November 8th. Our workshop program is our pride and joy. You've seen some of our workshop instructors already this evening, namely Joe McGuigan, Ailey Robertson, and Moshe Namini. And we've got more to come, like Tim Eady and Siobhan Butler. Tim Eady and Karen Tweed don't live in the same city. So for this performance, Karen played a rocking set and then sent it on to Tim, who listened to it on his headphones and added his magic. Special thanks to Mike McGoldrick, who was able to knit the two performances together. Go team. Hello and welcome. My name's Karen Tweed and I'm absolutely delighted to be here playing for you today. I'm recording from Orkney and uh, hopefully Tim will be doing his magic soon and I'm looking forward to seeing how it all pans out because Tim and I haven't met for a few years and hopefully we will again soon now. Um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely time. I miss you, audiences. I miss you. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll get out to Canada at another time. But have a great festival. It's a fantastic lineup. A brilliant thank you always to all the organisers, Caroline and all the gang. And uh, I hope you enjoy these few tunes, a few of my favourite tunes at least. And have a great festival and keep that wonderful music always going. Cheers. <laughs>
Bye, take much. care. Take care. We're coming close to the end of October, and here's what happens in N. Steinman, County Clare, when a storyteller and a dancer contemplate All Hallows' Eve. Enjoy this delightful piece by Andreas de Stack and Siobhan Butler, accompanied on Bauron by Dominic Kyo. And finally, what can we say about Michael McGoldrick, except that he's regarded as one of the greatest flute players of all time? But did you know? that he can also wrangle a tune from a bazooki, a guitar, and the illin pipes. Did you ever notice around this time of the year? A queer feeling comes in the evenings. But the day is getting shorter and the night's getting longer and after the first full moon of October be careful whether you're drunk or sober because just coming up before November you mightn't remember but be careful because there's queer things that to be seen coming up to Halloween. Halloween is right, all Hallows even or sound as they call it around here sometimes. Yeah. You'd see animals all heading to one direction. Look! You'd see a murder of crows and they're all heading in for the trees. Oh, be God, what's this I see? There's foxes and geese. Geese coming in from the edge of the bog. And the toads and the frogs and the old hedgehog and them all heading to the one place. You say, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. To be the fairy gathering of Halloween night. Oh, yes, indeed. All the ghosts and ghouls and fairies, goblins and pixies and witches, the wickedest of witches in the world, they'd be all gathering for Halloween night to go do some divilment, but you see they could be coming across land in their animal form, oh yeah. That wild horse with the yellow eyes indeed, there's a divilment in him, and the old crow singing up the trees, she sounds like an old banshee, but wait, not yet, no. For when the sun goes down on the wild Atlantic sea behind us, and darkness covers the land, and a moon might shine out behind the clouds, you hear that? Mmm, more of it. And the animals gathering. And you see what could happen then is they'd all be gathering, hanging out of the trees, all these animals. And then suddenly, up steps Buck the goat. <coughs> He'd pick up his drum and clear his throat. he say, all right, now all without to all within, let this fairy night begin. He'd stand up and he'd say, gathered here now tonight from the other world to this world and all in between. Let us have for us our party of Halloween. A whirly gig, rapidly bring them, and the witches be dancing and I'm the crack, lighting the fires and back to back, dress dressed in black. The wicked witch would say, ha 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 ha! And she'd laughing and crying and howling at the moon. Oh, this night won't be over soon, for the nights are getting longer and darker, so be careful. Be careful now, Halloween. All ye city folks and country pumpkins, carve your turn up and light up your pumpkin, and be careful, because the winter now is coming in. So mind yourself now, put the cow in the byre. Come inside, sit in by the fire. The winter is here and you know you how it feels. Keep yourself warm with a blast of reel.
Hello everyone, Mike McGoldrick here and delighted to be part of this year's virtual rejig festival. Um, I'm going to play a couple of reels for you on, well, four of me and uh, I hope I see you in person soon and everybody's getting back to some kind of normality and we'll see you soon. Until then, all the best. We hope to see you tomorrow, October 22nd, for our Friday Night Tune Makers concert featuring close to home talent, including Morgan Tony, Keith Mullins, Mary Beth Carty, and Sabre McGillivray. And again on October 23rd, join us for our Saturday gala concert with Olivier Elsinot and the trio Gentilcorum. We are delighted we can provide these performances to you for free online and that we're able to help support our artists during these trying times. But we can still use your help. Please consider making a donation to our tip jar in the comments section or over at our website, rejigfestival, that's one word, dot com. We are so glad you decided to tune in and join us this evening. We appreciate your comments and all your likes. And make sure you access all that Rejigged has to offer this year by visiting our website, and while you're there, sign up for our mailing list. Again, we want to thank the Charitable Irish Society of Halifax for sponsoring our online concert series this year. And of course, thank you for joining us. Good night.
Thank you.